Hello. Well, it's Friday the 9th of February 2024, and I think that I have just completely buggered my Harrison M300 lathe. What I was doing was just turning this uh, spindle out of this piece of Dorin. Easy job. And I was just changing the spindle speeds a little bit too quickly, or too carelessly. I failed to completely engage this in the correct place. Turned it on, scrunching of gears, obviously turned it off again, and now I've got horrendous noises. Let me show you. So, if I have this speed range, it's got four positions. If I have it on this right hand position, everything is fine. But if I put it on any other position, First I thought it was in the front spindle bearing, but it can't be because it's okay on there. Surprisingly difficult to find out which gear is causing that problem, but I thought it may possibly be that the spindle is bent in the middle. Of course, I took the top off, and there are no stripped teeth. There are no junk in the gear teeth. But, well, it all works okay, apart from the horrendous noise. Well, I was so upset about this that I didn't actually film my investigation, so uh, I'm going to have to kind of reconstruct it. Uh, to show you what happened. But uh, I started off by putting this um, selector in neutral between it and the three positions so that I could minimize the number of gears that were actually rotating. So with it in this position, hardly any of the gears are engaged. This one is not is rotating, but it's not making any noise. This is, the, uh, I think, the reversing gear, and there's one more gear down there, which is <coughs> rotating. And what I found was that with this lever over to the left, it was quiet. But if I put this like that, it made a noise. It doesn't make a noise now because I fixed it. But, um, and the only difference is as follows. Operating this lever simply moves that gear down there, left or right. But it does not cause it to engage. not engaged there. And if I put it on the next one, it's still not engaged because the other lever is in neutral. But I found that just by moving that gear like that, it brought the noise. And I realised eventually that what was happening was that this gear on the spindle was rubbing against that gear down there. And <coughs> there's a very slight left to right movement on this shaft, hardly visible, but it's just enough to bring this gear into contact with that. And that was what the movement of this was doing. It was just in that position, it was this gear was kind of pushing these gears to
to the left. <coughs> so I wondered what was supposed to be locating the shaft on which that gear, those gears ran. And it appears to be this thing here. So there appeared to be a grub screw with a locking nut on it, which would be kind of pushing in that direction. So I took this plate off, just to have a look. And uh, there's some kind of um, bush sitting in there, which is pressed on by this. So I just put this back again and uh, tighten this grub screw, which was, uh, it didn't actually want to tighten to start off with, but eventually I did tighten it. And um, that had the effect of pushing that whole shaft a smidgen in that direction, in that direction, and uh, solved the problem. So I think what happened was that the scrunching of the headstock gears had the effect of pushing that shaft this way a bit, and it wasn't sufficiently tightly done up. Um, and just adjusting that fixed the problem. And the moral of the story is don't crash your headstock gears. Take a little uh, time to make sure that they're engaged when switching these knobs. So now the thing is back to normal. And it uh, even works on these. Really, I never use these top two speeds because they're scary. That's 1700 RPM, and this is 2500. Don't stand in line with the chuck. It's actually rated to 4900 RPM, so we're all right, but I, it just, I find it scary. But I mainly use 540 or 370, sometimes 800.